Hello everyone, today I'm here to do a different type of review. I know I usually do book reviews and sometimes do magic reviews. Today's a whole new spectrum of that. It's going to be mini reviews. So I have three books I want to talk about. I will not mention them all in this video, but just be forewarned that the next um, three book reviews, including this one, are going to be mini reviews. So what are mini reviews? They're going to be seven minutes or less, hopefully, cross those favors. They're going to be spoiler free. I'm just going to tell you about the book, what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, my rating, and just my overall thoughts about it. So I just want to do a quick mini review on different books because I know some people just want to hear reviews about books obviously before you buy them or get them. I love reviews and I love spoiler free reviews because it really helps me to figure out if I want this book, do I, if I want to read this book, is it something for me? So yes, the next three reviews on my channel are going to be mini reviews. The first mini review is going to be The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. This is my fourth Leanne Moriarty read and this is by far my favorite. If you're unfamiliar with The Husband's Secret, it follows three different perspectives. It follows Cecilia who finds a letter one day while she's cleaning on her attic and it says to my wife Cecilia please do not open this till after my death and it's from her husband so of course she's curious you know she found this letter from her husband that it's not supposed to be open until after she died until after he dies so she calls him about it he's like don't open it it's stupid and of course what happens is she opens it so it's all about that letter all about that secret that's happening this also follows a woman named Tess whose marriage isn't great so she goes back home and it also follows a woman named Rachel who has lost her daughter when she was very young and she believes the murderer is still out there so all these three different things going on but it all ties to this letter so that's all I want to tell you about it because I don't want to spoil it because this is a book that's kind of a mysterious air to it so you definitely want to figure out for your own what I thought about it. I will say this is my favorite Leanne Moray to read. I felt like this was very captivating. I was very involved in all of the characters. I was really rooting for each one of them. I felt a connection with each one of them even though they had very vast different type of stories and I love that Leanne Moriarty writes about real life things. You know she writes about sometimes affairs and sometimes secrets you keep from your husband. Sometimes Sometimes losing a losing one of your children. You know, she writes about all these really hard-hitting topics, I think, and it makes it very relatable, even if you haven't experienced something in that case, but a lot of people have, obviously, and I just loved her writing with that. I will say the one thing I did not like about this book was the pacing was kind of slow. It took me all I had to really get through the first 100 pages. I felt like the first 100 pages really went slow, the plot wasn't really going anywhere, and I wanted to put it down, but I know I had to push through it because I knew it was going to be a great book because of all the amazing reviews I heard about it. So if you do start this, just know that the first 100 pages are just kind of building up, nothing really happens, but after that, things will progress much faster, and you will not want to put it down because you want to keep, you will want to know what has happened, what has happened. And this has an air of mystery, it's not a full mystery novel. She, Liam Murray already really writes, you know, a little glimpse of a mystery in it for you to solve, not like it's not the whole plot of it, but something for you to keep you know, guessing at and I will say I mean once you figure out something you put the rest together for the ending the ending you will that will throw you for a loop I guarantee you that the last five pages were just amazing I love it. I give this book a four out of five like I said I think I would have given it a five out of five if the pacing wasn't so in the beginning and I you know I didn't like some of the situations that were going on in this book but I understand they're very relatable and a lot of things like this happen in real life. I still really enjoy it. It is my favorite Leanne Moriarty read and I would recommend if you're looking to pick up a Leanne Moriarty book this one would be a great one to start with. I think this one and what Alice Forgot are both great books by her. If you want something a little bit funnier go with what Alice Forgot. If you want something with mystery and a lot more drama and a lot more real life scenarios go with the husband secret I said I really like this book I thought it was great the characters were great the plot was overall good I really loved the whole thing of it just the pacing at the beginning was my only qualm with it so that was my mini review of the husband's secret I hope you guys enjoyed it. and it was short and sweet and let you know what I thought about it if you have read this book please let me know down below what you thought of it and let me know your rating of it and other stuff and if you like this mini review also please let me know say everything I um you wanted to hear about this book did you feel like you got a good general synopsis if you wanted to read it or not please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below because I will always try to get better with these if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you in my next video.